call growth marketing. Okay, so so let's let's touch on that topic, growth marketing. Sure. And the idea behind this is to give as much information out there to, to startups around the world and founders and entrepreneurs. So I've heard that term growth marketing quite a bit. How is that different than regular marketing? So when it comes to marketing, there are a number of different topics that are involved. And one would be a common idea is inbound marketing, where it's more content focused. People express their interest and then come to you through either a lead generation form that you have out there, a blog, webinars, things like that. There's also other types of ideas like growth hacking, which is more working on you know, short-term um, technical hacks or product enhancements and then building out audiences through that sort of viral uh, marketing sort of um, concept that's ingrained into the product. And then there are other forms as well, including advertising as such. The idea of growth marketing is actually more holistic. It's something where whenever you're marketing anything, let's take a pen, for example. Okay. Right? If you're selling a pen. <laughs> I love the pen example. Yes, and I know <laughs> some people are probably thinking, yes, I know where you got that example yeah. from. But, 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 but go on. We'll, we'll pretend everyone out there hasn't seen that amazing popular movie. Yes, absolutely, yeah. where they have to sell the pens. Yeah. So the idea is that when you're selling a pen, right, first off, you have to understand not only the values of the company, but the value you bring to people. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do that for different types of target audiences. Mm -hmm. People have different interests in the pen. And so to do that, they're going to be in different locations. For example, some may be on social media. Some may only buy high-end pens. It may be a product extension. And they may only be offline in close-knit communities. They may also be in other, what we like to call channels. And so when you have all these different types of channels, you have different types of messaging. And for each of these types of uh, channels, the messaging you have to tweak just like anything else and work through. The concept of growth marketing is understanding when you're selling that pen, in each of those different channels to each of those different audiences. What do those channels look like? What are they? Also, what is the journey that each customer goes on from first awareness to conversion to prospect to customer? And potentially, if they retain long enough and they use that pen just long enough, they might become your advocate. Mm 